There are over 2,100 species of fish in the Amazon basin, and all of them contain the necessary protein and calories to sustain the human body. This is Barbasco. The cool thing about this plant, it was used for millennia to poison fish. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it up. Luckily, it has a pretty shallow root system. <sighs> Essentially, what I'm gonna do with this Barbasco root is use it to prevent the fish from breathing. The toxin in the Barbasco root will be absorbed through the fish's gills and into its bloodstream, causing temporary paralysis. However, the toxin will not have any ill effect on humans who consume the fish. Once these fish know there's poison in the water, like anything alive, they're gonna try to get away from that poison. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a dam there where it kind of narrows down to try to impede exit of those fish. I'm seeing flashes of the fish, so I know they're there. Now I got a good look at one. It's a Hondia species, really commonly eaten here. They're a wider fish, they're jumpers. So if these bastards are gonna jump, they're gonna have to get a running start because I'm taking no prisoners on this one. Now that I have my dam built, I'm taking this Barbasco root and processing it down. I'm just gonna create surface area to allow that toxin to get out into the water and then be dispersed right there. I'm essentially meeting out the toxin through the fabric of my wrap, and you can see it dispersed readily. It's a white color, it's almost like pouring milk in the water, and I can see it going on down the current and doing its business. I don't know what's going on. Nothing seems to be happening yet. I'm just gonna wait and see if it takes a longer duration for this toxin to do its job. I've been through the best training that our military can provide. Nature rules out here. Dual survival in all new season, Tuesday at nine on Discovery.